All right, shalom, shalom. I want to start saying all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakaha Kodash. I say double honor to our apostle, Elder Gabriel Milsom. Shalom, Wakasa, Laha Bakyar. Which that's peace and mercy to the elect out there throughout the four corners. Um, pushing the word in truth, city, and preaching the word. Um, to you, I say shalom. And to the believers as well, keep supporting the ministry. Um, you know what I'm saying? Keep, you know what I'm saying? For uh, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh will. But um, uh, this is the book of First John, chapter three, verse one. It says, uh, "Marvel not, my brethren." It says, "If the world hate you, you know what I'm saying." And this is a scripture that you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, it, you know, it it, it it you know came to my mind when I was uh, you know was doing some reading, or it, you know stuck out to me. You know what I'm saying. Obviously, whatever. Um, just wanted to highlight these uh, you know these 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 quick verses. You know what I'm saying uh, throughout these chapters. And just kind of, uh, you know, uh, point out uh, the reason why, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when you look at it, when it says, Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you, yeah, you're not supposed to be in an astonishment. You're not supposed to be in awe, you know what I'm saying, about um, uh, why the world hates you. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look at uh, the reason why they hated you, I was shy. It was, um, you know what I mean? Because he was teaching the truth, man. And people don't like the truth, especially this world, man. And especially during the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? Because... We're in Rome 2.0, but you bless you best be those politicians and you know what I'm saying those higher ups. You know what I'm saying the people in the Senate. You know what I'm saying those wicked uh, scribes and Pharisees. Um, you know it's part of the, the um, Sanhedrin. You know what I'm saying the Caesars and whatnot. They had a problem with uh, you know what I'm saying um, what Yahweh Shah was speaking about, which the doctrine that he was speaking about wasn't even of his own. It was of the fathers. You know what I'm saying so. They had a problem with, like, what he was talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? And the ideas behind uh, these speeches, you know what I'm saying? And, like I said, these um, you know, these public gatherings and these public, uh, you know, talking uh, points uh, when these, um, you know, these men would get together. Just like now, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Elder Ariali did that video about uh, the dude Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? Which he could more than likely be a sellout. Um, but nonetheless, man, uh, you know, they're just getting at the point uh, about uh, how it's, a, it's an attack on manhood, you know what I'm saying, and um, the, the talking points that he's bringing out, man. And it's the same thing uh, that we're, you know, not well, in a sense, he's basically bringing out the same thing that we're talking about. We're just using scriptures to back up, uh, you know, our, um, you know, our thoughts and our, um, you know, our, you know, our, um, you know, our wording, so to speak, man. That's the only difference, man. But yeah, like I said, this says Marvel not the my brother that the world hate you, man. So you're not supposed to be surprised, you're not supposed to be shocked that the world doesn't take a liking unto you, man. They're not supposed to, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this world, as the scriptures say, I'm gonna get it real quick. This world is covered in uh in, in, in um in darkness, man. And it, that's the that's in the book of Isaiah. It says, uh my family, let me get that real quick, man, uh, before I get the other one. You know what I'm saying? They said that's why I said you're not supposed to marvel, because this is the reason why. This is Isaiah 60 and 2. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, man. Yeah, so we, and then when you look at that word wickedness, it's just, just going to say, um, I mean, it's like when you look at that word darkness, it's going to say wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're not supposed to marvel. You're not supposed to be in awe about how these people feel. You know what I'm saying? These people, of course, they're not going to like you, man. You know what I'm saying? When a general masses is flocking and taking heed to the a wicked perverse uh, government that's pushing forth nothing but lies hypocrisy you know what i'm saying uh wickedness and death you know what i'm saying and they've been soaking it up through the radio through the tv through these phones these, you know what i'm saying and through uh, all these sources of um communication man you know what i'm saying so why 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 would uh the world um like you you know what i'm saying they're going to hate you man because you if you're you're speaking uh, uh, um, uh, 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 you know, things pertaining to the old ways, things pertaining to Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, and this is the scripture, too. Matter of fact, I gotta get this real quick, man. It's uh, it's, uh, uh, Amos chapter um, 10, verse 5. I'm mean, like Amos chapter 5, verse 10. It says, uh, they hate him that rebuke him in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, man. Yeah, so if you're an individual that's speaking up rightly, like Yahweh, like Yahweh Shai, starting with our Lord and Savior Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and uh, you know the disciples, if you know, in the Old Testament, uh, when you read, uh, you know, in, uh, in the scriptures, I'll say, you know what I'm saying, um, if you're speaking uprightness, man, they're going to hate you, man, they're going to, 
they're going to take an extreme disliking towards your thoughts, you know what I'm saying, your points of views, your talking points, you know what I'm saying, because you're against the status quo, man. And that's what happened with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah and the disciples, and that's what's happening to us now. That's what happened. That's what's happening even to these individuals like, you know, Kevin Samuels, even though the Lord smoked them, um, you know, the, 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 the Andrew Tates, and so forth and so on. It's going to continue to happen to men that's actually standing up for, um, you know, certain principles, especially when it's backed up by the scriptures, man. But you can't, you can't um, be, like I said, you can't be in awe about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to take it with a grain of salt, man, because these people are wicked as fuck, man. You know? Um, let me get, uh, get this real quick, man. Let's see, uh, John, uh, yeah, 15. It's the book of John, chapter 15, verse, uh, 16. Uh, it's, it's a rock, y'all. All right, here's the book of John, chapter 15, verse uh, uh, 18. It says, if the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you, man. And so when you read about Yahweh Shai and, and his life and, you know what I'm saying, the hell that he caught, you know what I'm saying, you got to understand that's going to be the path of a man that that, um, that the Lord has chosen to be in his ministry, man. Because I just could say the servant, is not, the servant is not above his, uh, his master, you know what I'm saying. So our master, our Lord, our Savior is Yahweh Shai. So if they pre persecute him, if they um you know did particular things to disrupt the ministry, what you think they're gonna do to you? You know what I'm saying? Or us? They're gonna do the same thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So it says if the it says if if ye were of the world, it says uh, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you, man. And then it says um uh, if you were of the world. The world will love its own. It says, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you, man. And so the world hates us because Yahweh Shah has um, chosen a particular men and women, um, uh, you know, uh, to be, uh, you know, um, uh, to receive uh, salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? And then for and, and then for the men, um, you know what I'm saying? If you're on the front lines, you know what I'm saying? You want you, you want to catch the the brute force. Of um this hatred, you know what I'm saying, and that's just how it is, man. You know what I'm saying. When the world watches these videos and they hear our talking points and it's backed up by scriptures, they don't want to hear it, man. You know what I'm saying. So of course they're gonna dislike us. They're gonna hate us, man. Especially these dumb devils. You got two thirds of one people to hate us, man. Why? Because we speak the truth. As uh, uh, Galatians 4 and 16, it says, "Am I therefore uh, uh, become your enemy because I tell you the truth?" You know what I mean. So yeah, you just gotta deal with it, man. You know what I'm saying. Um, um, real quick, this last scripture, and I'm going to close it out. Because a lot of brothers come into the truth, and they be expecting, uh, um, they be expecting something, um, you know, different, man. I know, man, uh, we, we was going through it, um, Apostle Bar goes through it a lot. The word patience means to uh, suffer, man. You know what I'm saying? So, while you in this truth, um, you're going to suffer, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay, because... We're suffering for righteousness sake, man. Um, and this is spirit too. I didn't want to get this one, but I'll get it anyway. As uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11, is a faithful saying, where if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If uh, if we deny him, he also will deny us, man. So yeah, we're suffering for him. Um, uh, you know, currently, man, the situations that brothers are going through, all type of shit, man. But we're, it's because it's a sacrifice, man. You know what I'm saying? And eventually, that sacrifice is gonna lead to a manifestation of us actually ruling over these heathens. You know what I'm saying? Start with Esau, Edom, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to find that one scripture, man. It's like yeah. two and thirteen. Three, three and thirteen. Man. Oh, I gotta be Second Timothy. Uh, I be Second Timothy three. Yep, yeah, 2 Timothy chapter 3. 2 Timothy 3 and uh, 12. It says, uh, Yea, and all that will live godly in Mashiach Yahushua shall suffer persecution, man. So this is something that you have to prepare your mind for. Like I, uh, Sirach, the second chapter, speaks about, man. My son, if I come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. So, man, so you got to understand the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows, and the thing that the Lord will take you through. It's gonna, he's going to take you through all these things for the purging process to either begin or to intensify, man. Yeah, so 
just keep in just keeping these scriptures in mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Understanding the times we're coming in. If you believe in Yahweh Hashem, I wish they know that's the true name, not Jesus Christ. Just know that you're gonna suffer persecution, man. You know what I'm saying? Rather than being broke as hell or you know what I'm saying, not having a woman, you know what I'm saying, not having a spot to live at, all type of shit, man. So just know you're gonna catch hell, man. But we're gonna overcome all this through the spirit power of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? So that I'm saying shallow one.